Okay guys, I'm going to uh, show you how to connect Ham Radio Deluxe to your Sun SDR Pro 2 um, software defined radio. If you uh, use Ham Radio Deluxe with a normal bog standard radio, then you'll you will you'll know that it just uses a normal hard cable, whether that be a USB cable or a serial cable running from the raid running from the back of the radio into the back of the computer. So it's very very simple and, and that's how you would normally um connect ham radio deluxe to your radio. However, it doesn't quite work the same with the SDR the SDR. The the SDR has got um you can connect a cat cable into the back of it. And I haven't tried it but I would assume that if you would be able to connect it to the back of your computer in a similar way that you would do um, in a normal radio but we're not going to do, do that because a lot of people want to use that cat cable or the cat connector to connect an amplifier because the uh, Sun Pro only uh, produces a maximum of 20 watts so most people want to use more so they so you know we want to leave the the, the, the uh, cat socket alone so what will that what we do is we use what is called a virtual serial port or okay, it's basically it's it's like um an invisible um cat cable it's virtual so um it is there but it isn't there if you want to see it it's in in your computer and it's very very simple to do you just use a bit of software create your cable and then configure both ham radio deluxe and the software that runs the SDR and, and you're there and you can do this if you've got three, three computers four computers on your network um, and you're connected into your software you can do it on all your computers which means you can install ham radio deluxe on all the computers and you can use use it and there's no need for any cables running in anywhere you just use a virtual cable and that and, and you're away and it's very simple to set up, doesn't take very long at all, and I want to show you exactly how to do it. Now, the first thing we need to do is create a virtual port. Now, but it's important that you don't have Ham Radio Deluxe or your um, software for the radio running, because if you have it running and then and then create the port, the, the software doesn't recognize the port's running. You have to create the ports and then open Ham Radio Deluxe and then it recognizes it. So first things first, we'll open up Virtual Serial Ports Emulator. Um, I'll put a link in the description um, so you can go to this website and get it for yourself. It is free. It does ask if you want to buy a license. If you want to do that, you can. But um, we, I, don't, I probably won't be using this very often. So you get this, this box opens up here. Um, all we're going to do here is we're going to click here, create a new device. So we click there, this box comes up, drop down menu, we want to click on pair, like that. Click next, like that, and we have this. Now in the, in the, um, in the destructions for the, for the SDR, they, they say to use ports 5 and 6. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So down the drop down menu, I'm going I'm to use 5 and 6. Obviously if you're already using ports like this, you might have to use some more different ones. Um, I think I've tried it with different ones and it did work okay. But I'm just doing this as per instructions. That's, it's important that they're in sequence. 5 and 6. COM5 will be what? Basically, if you imagine that's a cable, COM5 is one end of the cable, COM6 is the other end of the cable. That's the easiest way to sort of imagine what what you what you've got as a, as a cable, although you haven't got anything to hold. It's all inside the computer. So COM5 is connected to the software that runs your radio, and COM6 is connected to Ham Radio Deluxe. So we'll click here. I I always click in there. I don't, I don't know, I haven't tried it without it, but I'll do it anyway. Doesn't hurt. We'll do that and then we click finish. And that's that's our cable all created. Alright, so we'll just minimize that for the 
time being. Now what we'll do now is I will open up uh, my expert SDR2 software which is what runs the radio. Now I've got the radio switched on already. Make sure you've got the radio switched on. And we'll just late we'll just wait for this uh to all open up for us. Takes a bit of time. Sometimes depends on how I suppose it depends on how fast your computer is. Right, here we go. Right. right I'll go into options up here. And we're looking for um uh cat here, like here. We're going to cat. Right. Now this this tutorial is very basic. I'm not going to be talking about anything to do with PTT. In fact, you don't really need PTT. That you know, if you were to configure this, then you would you would you would uh, also be able to use Ham Radio Deluxe to to key up the the radio. But since the software already has um, a transmission button, well, uh, you don't, we don't really need to bother with this. Um, but this, so I'm only going to show you this. So what we'll do here is, if we look here, like there, we'll see that our, our two ports we've just created are here, five and six. So what I'll do is I'm going to click there, and that's all I'm going to do. You don't need to do anything else. You need to select your port and select. Make sure you check that. If you don't check that, it won't work. So check that and check that, and then click apply, then click OK. And then switch our radio on. Make, make sure you switch the radio on. All right. All right. So we've got the radio running. So we'll minimize. We'll minimize that. Now I'll go and open up Ham Radio Deluxe. And with, every, with a bit of luck, it'll work. Wait for Ham Radio. Right, here we are. So that's open up now. So we'll, we'll go to New. Now, the the Sun uses Kenwood's connection um, configuration. It uses the Kenwood 480. So what you need to do, you need to choose Kenwood from the company and the TS 480 from the radio. Then go into Comport. There we are. There's your there's five and six. There's the ones you created. Click on Com six, and then go to uh, 960 here um, and that's all you need to do I'll click on um, I'll click on auto on logbook I also want that to open as well um, at a later date I'll come back and show you how to use the rotator and all that business but right so we have camera TS 480 com 6 980 that's what we've got there right with, that, with a bit of luck when I click on connect, it's going to connect straight into it and they'll all talk to each other. So here we go. There we go. Voila! We've now connected Ham Radio Deluxe. And then the logbook's opening now. And when the logbook opens, we'll probably get a few uh, boxes popping up in a minute asking us to download EQSLs. Oh, I'm not sure if I've already done that. So just wait for the logbook to open up and you'll see that our frequency Ham Radio, Ham Radio Deluxe is following our radio's frequency. Here we are. That's opening up. There we go. There's our frequency up there. So if we wanted to add, wanted to click on layout there. Let that all open up. All right. And so if we click on add, this brings the box up. And we add a contact. So here's our box here. So as you can see here, 28.410 if we minimize Ham Radio Deluxe, minimize Ham Radio Deluxe interface and open up up um, our software program. You can see it's all following there. 
So basically, that's uh, that's all there is to it. Um, I don't actually, I won't be using, this is the interface for Ham Radio Deluxe, so I won't be using that at all. You know, we don't need any of these controls because we already have them on uh, on, their, on our uh, SDR program, but I will be obviously using my log, but what I probably will do at some stage, I'll, I'll add an extra uh, monitor, so I'll have two monitors, one of them will have this open, and the other one will have the uh, software screen open here, um, so I can just go between it. So, I hope that's pretty pretty straightforward and simple, and shows you um, how to connect Ham Radio Deluxe into uh, into your SDR software. Okay, I hope that helps. Cheers for now, guys.